Now, the reason I have this on the board is because I want to tell you a very, very brief story. Um, how many of you can, would say you can play basketball? Hands up, like you know the rules, you know how to play? Yep, hands up straight. Almost everyone, okay, thank you, hands down. So, when I was in year eight, I thought I was okay as a basketball player. Um, I quite enjoyed the game, except there was this teeny little problem that my friends who were really good basketball, play basketball players told me, which was that I was unable to do a layup. Do you know what a layup is? Yeah. You know what a layup is? Like as the name suggests, right, you're meant to get nice and close, jump up, and then you literally lay the ball up into the hoop. That's the idea, right? Um, except I was super short as a year eight student, like I was the second shortest person in the grade, including girls, so I could not get anywhere close, and so I could not do the layup. Now I thought that was okay, and then my friends who were basketball said, uh, we hate to break it to you, but the layup is like the basic scoring shot. That's like the basic thing that's like the first thing you do after dribbling. If you can't lay up, it's like, sorry dude, you can't, you don't have your ABCs of basketball, okay? Now, what you're going to be learning today is kind of like the layup of algebra. It is the basic building block, it's like your bread and butter, to change metaphors, okay? It's not a complicated thing, but you're going to be doing a lot of it, so you need to be very good at it, okay? So what I want you to write underneath this heading is, first, a bit of a review, right? Underneath this, would you please write with me, a pronumeral, a pronumeral, and then in brackets, can someone give me some examples of some common pronumerals that we use? Yeah, go ahead. X is probably the most common one. What else might you see? Yep. A. a. Another one, when you use a number, we often use the letter N for number, okay? And you know what? This can just keep on going. You can use anything you like, right? You could use like a shape. You could use a word if you wanted. Anything that can stand in front of a numeral, but these tend to be the most, you know, rather than saying, oh, draw like a funky looking star. These are easy things we know how to draw, right? A pronumeral is a symbol that stands in place of, and do you remember this is our definition, right? I'm just wanting to go back to what this means, it stands in place of what? What does the symbol stand in place of? It's in the word itself. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just a number, just a, a numeral of any kind, right? So a pronumeral is just something that stands in place of a number. Okay? Now, substitution is what it's called when we take that pronumeral and we swap it for a number. Right? It might be like an answer, or it might be, you know, the length of a particular shape. If we put the number back in where the pronumeral was, that's what we mean by substitution. That was a long sentence. Let me state that a little more simply. Substitution is the replacement of that symbol with a number. That's all it means, okay? Big fancy word, very simple idea. Substitution is the replacement of the symbol with a number. Okay, so let's think of a quick example of this, right? If, for instance, and you don't have to do this, I'm gonna try and do better than this. If you had a circle, right? Uh, I've done better. You guys learned, if you recall last year, the area of a circle. There's a formula for it. Does anyone remember what it was? Area equals, yes, a Hindu. Pi r squared, very good. Pi r squared. So you can see we have a couple of, well actually we have three pronumerals in here. Sorry, that's a very messy pi. It looks like three r's altogether. That's a bit better. We've got three pronumerals here, don't we? There's an a, and then there's the pi, and then there's an r, right? What does the pi stand for, by the way? It always stands for the same thing every single time, Merrick. 3.14? Yeah, 3.14. And on and on and on and on and on. And I'm not going to ask you to say all of the digits because we'd be here forever, okay? So it stands for a number. What does the A stand for? Hmm. It's the area. It's what we're trying to calculate, right? If we're trying to work out how big this thing is. And the R, of course, stands for radius. radius. Very good. So as an example, right, we could, and I'm actually going to get us to write the words for this, we could substitute a particular value for the radius of that circle. Uh, I'm just going to ask you guys to eyeball this with me. That circle there, the one that I've drawn on the board, what does the radius look like to you, roughly? It's about like from the center to about there, right? What do you reckon? 10? I'm pretty sure it's bigger than 5. Like my, f that's like 5. I, I, I'm going to call it like 15. 15? Are you okay with 15? Let's just go with 15. If I substituted R equals 15 into 
a equals pi r squared. What would that mean? Well, instead of saying r, every time I see r, I'm going to replace it, there's that word there, I'm going to substitute it with the number, with the value that it takes, okay? So in this case, that would be a is equal to pi, and I'm gonna write it as closely as I can to what I had before. Uh, I'm gonna put a multiplication sign in there, 15 squared. Right? Now, some of you might be really good with your times tables, and you might already know what 15 squared is. Can anyone tell me what it is? 225. 225, very good. Okay, so you got it really quickly. And so therefore, my next line is going to be 225. Tend to write the number first when you've got other letters like pi around. Pi. And that would be the area of the circle. But I think it's really important, and I'm actually going to highlight this. If you have another color, that would be really fantastic. See this line in here? Okay, this is what we call the substitution line. I've written it exactly as you saw it before, pi r squared. Even though you guys could tell me what 15 squared was quickly, I still want to write 15 squared there so I can see I'm swapping it for what's there, right? So this is the substitution line. Okay, 